These aren't chicken fingers, they're tofu fingers. That's right, today we are making some vegan raisin canes and naturally we gotta start with the sauce since that's what they are known for. And there's plenty of recipes out there for this sauce and I tried a few of them out and tweaked this recipe to my own palate. And we're gonna start off with one cup of vegan mayo, a quarter to a third cup ketchup, one tablespoon Worcestershire sauce, and yes, this one is vegan. You can also use some steak sauce instead. One teaspoon of vinegar, two teaspoons garlic powder, one tablespoon hot sauce, preferably something like this stuff, then a few shakes of Cajun or Creole seasoning like Tony's here, and then about one teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper. Whisk that up and taste for seasoning, and it's great out of the gate, but it's gonna taste even better after a night in the fridge. And yeah, this stuff is so dang good, I understand the hype around it. As for the chicken fingers, I often see people complain that they aren't that great and lack seasoning, so let's remedy that. I'm gonna be making my trusty fried tofu recipe with a few tweaks, but if you've been around here, you know that I like to use super firm tofu as I can just pull it out of the package and start cutting it up with no pressing. You can also freeze your tofu if you like to do that, or you can use seitan or something like these Gardein chicken strips. Just let them thaw and then shape them into tenders and then freeze them again. Whatever option works for you will do great. But for today, I'm simply gonna carve up my tofu into some tender shapes, and as always, you can use the scraps for a tofu scramble or another dish. I also like to score them to give them a shreddy texture and to let the marinade penetrate more. Speaking of which, let's make that marinade. And this is a pretty simple concoction. And you might be asking, do we really need to marinate and then grill this tofu later if we were just gonna fry it? And the answer is no, you can totally skip the marinade and grilling if you want. However, I do find that the end product has a lot more flavor. So for me, it's totally worth it. I also recommend blending the marinade to emulsify it if possible. And then we're simply gonna marinate our tofu tenders for one hour to overnight. The longer, the better in my book. And once we are ready, we're gonna head over to the stove and grab a skillet. And I really like the stainless steel pans I've been using from today's sponsor, Made In. I have to admit, I was nervous about making these tofu tenders on stainless steel as I thought they might stick, but as long as you do the water bead test, the pan works just like a nonstick. And on top of that, because of its ability to quickly and evenly heat, I get a nice sear in way less time than a nonstick pan. The saucier is great for sauces and pasta, of course, but as you're gonna see later, it also does a great job of deep frying. And the oil came up to temp in about half the time as well. And that's because Made In's premium five-ply stainless steel material is what sets it apart from the other pans out there. The five layers allows for superior heat retention, even heating, and ease of heat control. They've also got a lot of great videos on how to cook and take care of your stainless steel cookware, so if you're new to it like I was, definitely check those out to see just how easy it is to use these pans. So if you're interested in the stainless steel collection or any of Maiden's other cookware, use the link in the description to save money on your order, and thank you Maiden for sponsoring this video. All right, so like I said, we just need to cook these tenders until they are golden brown on both sides. And incidentally, the water bead test on stainless steel is just where you add a little water after heating the pan for a few minutes. And once the water does that, it'll be non-stick and you can add some oil and whatever you're cooking. Let the cooked tenders cool on a wire rack and now to fry our tofu fingers. And for that, we just need to make our dredging station. So first let's get half a cup or 60 grams each of all purpose flour and cornstarch. Next is one tablespoon of baking powder, a teaspoon each of garlic powder, onion powder, and smoked paprika. Then a quarter to a half teaspoon of cayenne pepper, an eighth teaspoon of white pepper, and then about one teaspoon of black pepper a teaspoon of salt, and then a few shakes of Cajun or Creole seasoning once again. Whisk that up, and now for the wet dredge, we're gonna get one cup of unsweetened plant milk and one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, one tablespoon of hot sauce, and then about a quarter cup of flour to help it thicken. Whisk that up, and our dredging station is good to go. Now to our saucier or our large pot, add a neutral flavored high smoke point oil. I'm gonna be using peanut. Make sure to turn the handle away from you and don't fill the pot more than halfway for safety. We're gonna go ahead and bring that up to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. To dredge our tofu fingers, I recommend a double dredge. So we're gonna go into the wet and then into the dry and repeat. And make sure you shake off the excess and coat them thoroughly. Then carefully add them to the oil away from you so you don't splash any hot oil on your hands. Make sure you don't crowd the pot and simply fry them until golden brown. And for me, this only took about four to five minutes or so. Then we're gonna let them rest on a wire rack and that's it, your tofu fingers are done. And these came out nice and crunchy. 
And here's what they are like on the inside. We got a nice area and crispy batter. And of course, these are over the top with the cane sauce, which honestly, for my money, I could just eat the tofu fingers and the cane sauce. However, if you want to make the full plate, we can make the coleslaw too. And this stuff has to be better than that cold slop that they seem to serve at Cane's. All we need to do is thinly slice about four cups of green cabbage. You can use a mandolin or a knife or a large peeler. And then we need to shred up about two cups of red cabbage. I'm gonna go ahead and julienne in two carrots or about two cups worth of that as well. And I like my coleslaw to have a lot of carrots. So if you disagree, just use one carrot. Now for the dressing, we're gonna get three quarters cup of vegan mayo, three tablespoons of dill or sweet relish, depending on how sweet or tangy you like it. And then one to two tablespoons of lemon juice, one to two cloves of minced garlic, three tablespoons of chopped chives, black pepper and salt to taste and whisk that up. Taste for seasoning and I decided to add one teaspoon of sugar since it was a wee bit too tangy and that balanced it out perfectly. Then you simply need to toss that with the cabbage and carrots and I don't like my coleslaw swimming in mayo so if you want yours to be saucier than this by all means add more or whatever you like but for me this was perfect. And for the fries, I'm taking a shortcut and using frozen fries, in my opinion, for the labor and mess. Homemade fries just aren't worth it, but you do whatever you like. Frozen fries for the win in my book. I'm just going to air fry them. And then lastly, for the Texas toast, Cane's uses something that looks like this barbecue bread, but living in Southern California my whole life, I've never seen this. So it must be a Texas thing. I'm not really sure. You could totally make my hot dog buns and sprinkle some sesame seeds on them, or you could just use some of the Texas toast that we do have here in California, which is just thick ass white bread. I'm going to butter it and grill it until golden brown and beautiful. Of course, I didn't have room for it on this plate, but that's okay. I still ate it. But this was honestly one of the best meals I've had in a long time. If you only make anything, I'd say make the sauce and the tenders and heck, make the coleslaw too. So I really do hope you all try this recipe. And if you want to see a bunch of different ways to fry tofu, check out this video right here. And until then, I'll see you all next time.